So what if Ronnie 2K punched you in the face? It's a little difficult to talk about. You guys don't think, like, you look at Ronnie, you don't think he's a strong dude, but he's a really, he's really strong, which I found out, you know? He's just a strong dude. He wears really tight pants. I don't know if he's trying to, like, show off his calf muscles. He wears really tight pants, but he got, a, like, a baggy shirt, so you don't get to see how defined his biceps are or how strong he actually is. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell the story how it actually went, so that, because sometimes you just gotta get stuff off your chest, so I'm, I'm just gonna vent and get it off my chest with you guys, with the family, you feel what I'm saying? So, anyway, this past Christmas, Ronnie 2K came over to the crib and i'm puerto rican so our cribs like our homes are not really made for tall people the tallest person in my family is like four foot six i'm four foot three and a half but with tim's on i'm a little bit taller which is why i try to wear tim's a lot but anyway it is what it is i, I tall people are just not made to come into our home but anyway it, he comes into our home this past christmas we invite him over for christmas dinner and you yeah you don't know that ronnie he's a he's a close talker so when he like when we have him come into our he has to bend down to kind of get into the doorway whatever he comes in listen let me tell you guys something being a close talker and also having halitosis is not a good like it's not a good match you can't be a close talker and have bad breath so anyway immediately you know i try to introduce him to everybody to put everybody at ease and when i introduce him to my abuela he, he comes and he comes and tries to say hi to her real close and she got offended by his breath so naturally she reacted like okay oh, so, so i'm like yo i didn't understand i didn't think that it was gonna pop off so quickly like as soon as he came into the house but you know who knows you know when you're in a small puerto rican household that bad breath will travel so anyway you know it, it traveled and it was like circulating the the whole home circulating throughout the home asap and all you hear is whispers of fabuloso multiple family members calling out the big guns trying to get the fabuloso yeah i don't know it also it is all you hear throughout the household so it was offensive so my family is up in arms and you know you got a bunch of little puerto ricans up in arms you know you know what's gonna happen anyway so he offended my my abuela when she when he went to say hi to her because he came up so close so quickly with that bad breath and she immediately stepped back and she had a reaction and that kind of triggered my little cousin and being that my little cousin got triggered he went because he's really defensive you guys know i told you about my little cousin he you know he got one leg shorter than the other so he walks with a limp oftentimes walking in circles but we just kind of redirect him to the direction he needs to go and then kind of push him and he's able to kind of take a few steps anyway what happened was is that he got offended so he immediately you know came walking in circles and he made it to us and he wanted to try to swing up but when he swing when he tried to swing on um, ronnie Ronnie weaved out the way. I didn't know Ronnie had skills like this. I didn't know Ronnie was that strong, and I didn't know he had skills like this. But when he weaved, he swung in my cousin. And for what was that? Man, listen, if my tío gets involved, my titi, she gets involved, and I try to push Ronnie back. And when I push Ronnie back, he came with a right hook. And that, I like I said, I never... I never knew, and this is one of those things where you just kind of got to get stuff off your chest, and I shouldn't be talking about it. I know I shouldn't be talking about it with you guys, but I didn't know Ronnie was that strong. He hit me with a right hook that sent me back to 2K20. So I was just like, damn, I, I got up like in 2K20, like what the hell? At least that's how it felt. By the time that I came to... Ronnie was already gone. They took Ronnie out. But I, I just, this message is for you guys. And this message is for Ronnie. Listen, this is not over. You know, we're in litigation. I plan, it might be called, like, this part reason as to why they named the city. They're preparing for me to take over. They're preparing because we, you know, we're in the city now. So we're all city here and they preparing for, for the new takeover. And if I get my hands on 2K, I promise you guys, it's, it's going to be a, a much better 2K, better than we received in, in 2K21, especially on next gen. So I, I'm kind of grateful that all this happened. I'm grateful that I have you guys to kind of vent to and tell you guys about this. I know you all got my back. You know, it's us against Ronnie. Hopefully, some next time, there'll be another little Puerto Rican that could probably grab his legs and I just push him over and then we'll handle business for, from there. But 
Listen, it is what it is. You guys know the story firsthand. You heard it from me. If he releases a video talking about it, so be it. But you guys know you heard it first here at All City Live TV. And if we have to kind of expose tall, aggressive people again, I'm going to do it right here on the channel. Please consider dropping a like to show support for us here at the channel. It wasn't easy getting punched by Ronnie and it's a little bit embarrassing, but it is what it is. I'm able to say, at least I'm able to say that I was able to take a punch. You feel what I'm saying? I, though I was knocked out for a good 10 minutes, that Nate Robinson type of knockout, it is what it is. I was able to take a punch. I came back to, and now we're in litigation with plans to take over 2k and take over the world probably i'm thinking about it. i'm not sure i'll catch you guys on the next video easy y'all